Okay, so the purpose of this video is to show you how you can, with a little bit of ingenuity, get generic annotation that's nested into another family. In this case, it's a communication device family to show the same way uh, orientation wise. Right now, this particular family, if I place it on a north south running all like this, uh, the orientation is up and down, which may be okay with you, but in some cases it may not be. You may want it to always show up like this, and because the way the family was built, that may not necessarily be possible uh, in its current uh, iteration. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this family. And like I said before, we have essentially here, if we go to the plan view, we have a generic nested annotation family that's associated with the, the model data of this communication device. So uh, the first thing to go ahead and do is we're actually going to edit the nested generic annotation family. So I'm going to select this guy and edit the family. So we're one step in here. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this label basically to the same spot and then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees here okay once we've done that then we'll want to uh, associate these with a visibility parameter so I'm going to with this one already selected I'm going to click on the visible associated family parameter button here add a parameter called north south because that's the orientation that I want click OK and then uh, I'll click OK here. I'll try to select the other one running north-south here, or east-west rather, and do the same thing. Add a parameter east-west and click OK. All right. So with those now set, let's go ahead and create the types. And we could do something as simple as like this, not NS. Uh, and I just got to put some parentheses around those, the NS. OK, so click OK. And and the idea is here that I'm going to rename this particular family. We'll call it North South. Let me copy this. Okay, and then create a new type and just change out NS with EW. The idea being we'll deselect NS and then EW becomes the active parameter. The I and once we do that, we should have everything kind of set up here because each of those labels is then associated with that visibility parameter and if we load it into in this case the host family we'll overwrite the existing we should then be able to go back and forth here so to kind of test that out uh, we again need to create our types here so we've got a push button let's go ahead and create a new or actually just rename it call it push button or south and rename it, cancel, new, and then east west. Okay, click apply, click OK. Now, what we want to do now is because we have two types, each showing the different orientation, we need to actually select this object. We're going to associate it with a label. So, a label parameter. So, I'm going to add a parameter here, and we're going to call this. Um, generic and we'll just keep it abbreviate gen no uh, orientation type and then click OK All right so the idea is then in the family type types dialog we can select which instance or which type we want to use so in this case for the east west push button let's go ahead and say that one and then for the north south push button let's make sure that it says ns Okay, hit apply, and let me make sure that that's stuck, because sometimes I will get out of here before confirming that, and it looks like it's okay. So, all right, so the idea is then we've got those labels. Let's go ahead and load it in the project now. Overwrite what we currently have there, and these are the original ones, right? We should have this one east-west, and this one needs to be the north-south. 
and notice that we now have orientation. Now obviously you've got to be, it's an extra step when you actually place it in the project to make sure, okay, is this a, really a north-south wall or is it an east-west wall? So in this case, if I went ahead and just placed that there, I'd realize, oh, i got to change that to the other type. And we're good. All right, so hopefully that kind of answers the, the workflow that you would need to do to address something like that with a nested generic annotation family within a, a host family and you have some text that you need to be orientated a certain way.